Hello everyone, this is Vlad and welcome back to Skill Up. Today I'm going to tell you how to find an inverse matrix using the Gauss-Jordan method. Here's the outline of the Gauss-Jordan method for finding the inverse of a matrix. First, we form the augmented matrix. I will show you that on the next slide. Then we perform row reduction operations until we get an identity matrix. In the row reduction operations, you can interchange any two rows. You can multiply each element of a row by a non-zero integer. You can replace a row with the sum of itself and a constant multiple of another row of the matrix. The matrix on the right is now the inverse of the original matrix. So the first thing I want to do is I want to multiply the first row by 3 and subtract it from the second row. So what do I get? So I, uh, I get 0 because 3, 3 minus 3 times 1 is 0. 5 minus 2 times 3 is minus 1. Okay, so 0 minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. And 1 minus 3 times 0 is 1. And then we just copy the, the first row. 1, 2, 1, 0. Okay, perfect. So the next stage. So I, got, I've, I have a, a 0 on the bottom row. Now I want to get rid of the 2. To do that, I add the bottom uh, row to the first row twice. So let's see what I get. 1 plus 0 times 2 is 1. 2 plus 2 times minus 1 is 0. Then 1 plus 2 times minus 3 is minus 5. Uh, 0 plus 2 times 1 is 2. And we just copy the bottom row. Uh, minus 1, minus 3, and 1. And the final step, I multiply the second row by negative 1. And I get, so I just copy the top row, 1, 0, minus 5, 2, uh, 0. Now, I've multiplied the second row by minus 1, so it's 1. Uh, 3 minus 1. Right. Now, we got the, the uh, modified augmented matrix. The matrix on the left, as you can see, is the identity matrix. And the matrix on the right is now the inverse. So, if the original matrix was... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 5, then the inverse of that matrix, A minus 1, is minus 5, minus 5, 2, uh, 3, minus 1. And that's it. Uh, this is a very easy method for a 2 by 2 matrix. Well, actually, any method of finding the inverse w with a 2 by 2 matrix is relatively easy. It gets harder with the 3 by 3 matrix. So what I did is I subtracted the first row from the third row three times. So 3 minus 3 times 1 is 0. Here you have 0. Uh, 0 minus 3 times minus 3 is 9. 2 minus 3 times 2 is minus 4. 0 minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. 0 minus 3 times 0 is 0, 1 minus 3 times 0 is 1. So, the last row. And all we do now is we copy the first two rows to the new matrix. The next thing I want to do is I want to add the second row to the third row four times. And this is what we get on the last row. So, 0 plus 4 times 0 is 0. 9 plus 4 times minus 2 is 1. 
Minus 4 plus 4 times 1 is 0. Minus 3 plus 4 times 0 is minus 3. 0 plus 4 times 1 is 4. And 1 plus 4 times 0 is 1. The first two rows have not changed. The next thing I want to do is because I can see now that I have a ident a, the row of the identity matrix, the third row, I'm going to use that to get rid of the minus 3 and the minus 2. To do that, I'm going to add the third line to the first line three times, and I'm going to add the third line to the second line two times. And this is the result. So, 1 plus 2 times, uh, plus 3 times 0 is, is 1. Minus 3 plus 3 times 1 is uh, 0. 2 plus 3 times 0 is 2, etc. So we have the first row is 1, 0, 2, minus 8, 12, 3. The second row, as I remind you, I have added the third line twice. So 0 plus 2 times 0 is 0. Minus 2 plus 2 times 1 is 0. And 1 plus 2 times 0 is 1. And we did the same with the, with the other matrix. The third row remained unchanged. So, I look at my new matrix, and it's almost an identity matrix, if not for that 2. So, I want to get rid of that 2. To do that, I subtract the second line from the first line 2 times. Or, in other words, I multiply the second row by 2 and subtract it from the first row. And this is what I get. So, as you can see, I have subtracted the second line from the first line twice. And the resulting matrix is on the right. You can check that if you want, you can pause the video. Now, you can see that the matrix on the left is almost an identity matrix. All I need to do is switch the bottom two rows and I will get an identity matrix. So, I'll do that now. So, I switched the bottom two rows and now on the right I have the inverse matrix. So a to the power minus 1 is the inverse matrix of my original matrix, where well, let's call it a. Now, it is a very useful method, the Gauss-Jordan method, to find the inverse of a matrix. It works for any square non-singular matrix. So, yes, you can try out uh, a 4x4, a 4x5x5 uh, matrix. Try out this method, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Thank you very much for listening. This is Vlad and see you next time.